everybody, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a blessed day. I really do. I hope that you had a amazing October. We are gonna do some fun stuff in November, so I hope you'll join me for all of that. This is a new series I am calling Stripping Down Your Layout. Now, the reason I'm calling it that is because we are going to use our border strips, right? I'm gonna empty the Pringles can. So there's going to be four videos in this series and I'm gonna show you four ways I like to use um, border strips, strips of paper that we have in our scraps in order to create a layout. I know there's a lot of shadow and I apologize. It is just cloudy and gloomy at my house today. So I don't have a lot of sun like I usually do. In those four videos, like I said, I'm gonna be doing different layouts in different ways. Um, I hope you're inspired. I hope you use those scraps. I hope it's a lot of fun for you because I know I get excited when I can empty out. Look, you guys, seriously, Mr. Pringles, you know, Don Juan, that's what I decided to call him. Um, he's got one border strip in him. One, only because I didn't know where to sort that, sort that one. So I, um, this month's organization hop, you'll see this before the organization hop, does talk about how we store um, our scraps. So definitely watch for that coming up this weekend. You'll see it this weekend on Sunday. Um, and with that, I think we should just get started. Um, this video might be a little bit longer because I'm going to kind of talk about how I sort my border strips without going into so much detail. The organization video is not, um, informative. So I will tell you when I pull them out of Don Juan, <laughs> my Pringles can, <laughs> I do sort them by color. Like here's blue. On this layout, I use blue, pink, and yellow. Um, here's all of my pinks. Um, and over here to this side, I know you guys can't see, but I do have a stack of yellow. I didn't have very much yellow this time. And then um, watch that video and I'll show you what I do with the ones that once I've sorted them, if I don't use them right away, what I do. So watch for that this weekend. Like I said, it's a fun, fun um, hop. Now, this first layout will end up being a two page and when I go glue everything down, I'll come back and I'll show you the second page. And yes, I did use border strips on that second page too. Um, this is gonna be my charger page though. I've talked about that in the past. I haven't mentioned it in a while, but a charger page is where I put a lot of detail in one page. And most of the time, those are one or two photo layouts. I've got five kids. I have a huge family. I'm sure you all have a huge family too. If I did every single set of photos as a one-page layout, I would need $2 million to buy all the albums to stick them in, right? And not even to mention another house just to have a room for all my albums. So I'll do a charger page, kind of like a charger plate when you create a beautiful tablescape, and it'll have a lot of detail. And then the second page will be a grid of photos so that I can get everything done at once. Um, now, a lot of photos I have to do more than once, like this is the second time I have done these because one's for mine to keep and one, I always create um, albums for my children and when they grow up and they move out, they get their albums. So um, this is the second time I've done these. We went to an ice cream parlor shop here and they have what is called Dragon Bites and you chemically decide what flavor you want them. And then um, it's like a chemistry lab ice cream shop. And then when you pop them in your mouth, you you like, you get a little smoke because they're made with dry ice. So it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. My kids love it, especially Jilly. She is an addict to ice cream. If there ever needed to be a 12 step program for someone in sweets, it is Jilly and Joe, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> She has a sweet tooth like her dad and her granddad. Okay, so in this layout, what I am going to do essentially is create a large flower as the center. To do that, I needed a circle here in the middle. You guys know my compass. I've had cutting systems. I've had stencils. I do use a quilt, um, a quilt, what is it called? A uh, base to make circles, um, template to make circles. I have one of those as well. This is my go-to though. I mean, I've had all those things, the creative memories. When I want to cut circles, I need to trace a circle because I can make it as large as I want or as small as I want, and this is all I have. Simple, simple. So, um, and if I wanna take it to a crop or something, I can. I really suggest get the metal ones. The plastic ones do break. And then I just find the center. I do that by using my ruler. I measure this way, I measure this way, six inches, that's your center. And then I will take it and I draw a circle. 
that's going to be our base. Then I wanted something in the middle because flowers have a center, right? And I'm going to take that and put it right here. Now the reason I already have my photo down is because now I just kind of eyeball it in the middle. I don't stress, you totally can, I know. And if that's your happy place, making sure it's perfectly centered, then do that, please do, but it's not mine. <laughs> It's not mine. Um, so I just kind of eyeball it and I put a center in. Now you could leave this blank if you want to. But I do suggest, suggest, pardon me, that you take something so you have a guide. And that will make more sense here in a moment. Then I took a bunch of strips, a bunch, in the colors that I want. Again, this would be really pretty. This one I'm doing in multicolored and it'll make more sense. I'll explain why when I show you the sister page. But um I did pink, blue, and yellow because that's what color the dragon bites were, right? And um, I did that so that it would match. However, one of my favorite ways to do this is monochromatic. Take every pink strip you got, make a whole bunch of basically banners with them. You're just fishtailing the end, right? That's all I've done. And then just make a beautiful flower and then do like a dark center of another color. That is my favorite way to do that. And if I was a good hostess with the most assists, <laughs> I would have dug out one, but I didn't want to. I'm not going to lie. I just didn't want to. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use this center circle. Again, just use a scrap if you want to leave this blank in the middle. I do want to say, and I forgot to say, none of these ideas are mine. Like I have seen them over the years. I have no idea where I have seen them. They're just things that I have done. I've been scrapbooking for almost 25 plus years. So I am not gonna say this is Ginger's idea. It is not. I've probably seen it somewhere, mimicked it from somewhere, but that's what this um, community is all about. So please don't think I'm taking credit for this design. I am not, I'm not. Anyway, so then what I would do is I'll just start taking these and we're gonna start just tucking them in or around. And essentially what we're doing is we are creating the petals. That's what we're gonna do here. And I'll just keep on taking the different colors and you want them different lengths, okay? Um, let's do, let's do this color. I do try to, like I can tell this is a 49 and market border strip and I do want to space out. I don't want all of this one right here, right? So I just kind of um, here, there, everywhere. I need two hands here. And I'm going to create petals basically with all of this it does not have to be perfect do not get hung up on perfection because it will frustrate you and you won't want to do it no more that's not what we're trying to do what we're trying to do is just create something really pretty so different colors different let's do a dark how about a dark blue oh yeah that's pretty i like that let's see and we're just gonna keep on and go all the way around, all right? So let me do this. Let me step away. I'm, when you come back, this is, I'm gonna have a whole flower here. This is gonna be gone. And then we'll talk about how to embellish it, if you should embellish it or whatever. I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me tuck each one, right? Um, so let me glue these down, get this part done, and we'll come back and we'll hang out, all right? All right, you guys, I've got all my strips. Oops glued down so now I'm ripping them off oh my goodness and you can see it's a flower now if you leave this you you could take this off now I just have this down temporary see you could take that off now if you do take that off obviously you're not just going to have these you're going to have them straight okay and you could even draw a circle in the middle and go from there I, I'm lazy y'all I'm not even going to pretend like I'm not so I'm going to glue my center down okay and then what I wanna do is take these gems right here. These are kind of like, oh my goodness, they're sticking to everything. Um, they're little pearls and you get these at the Dollar Tree, you guys. They have them in all different colors, okay? And I'm going to put them around the center of my flower. Cause that's basically what this is, is a big old flower. I just use border strips to make it, okay? So then I'm just going to sit here. Now I'll just do a couple right now and then later I will do. That's another reason I have this because I don't want the gems here. So I'll just go from here to here with these gems. Okay. And I'll just put a couple so you get an idea. Yes, I always glue them down. Always, always glue them down. 
and that'll just give it a little bit of bling, okay? And I'll go all the way around. I put three dots so I'm, I don't want the glue to dry by the time I get done yakking. <laughs> by the time I get done talkity talking, yickety yakking. Isn't that what I said the other day? I don't remember. Anyway, so there's that, okay? Then remember, when you're cutting and using your border strips, any of these that you can use as sentiments, cut them off and save them. You can sort them by theme, by... Um, season, whatever you want to do, keep them in your sentiments tab. I think I want to use that here. Now my sister page is going to have the big title and it's going to be Puff the Magic Dragon. Okay. That's going to be. So because of that, Mallory had made this, it had a pumpkin on it. And I took one of the embellishments from Miss Terry. And I think she has these popsicle embellishments tutorial on YouTube. I, if I can find it, I will link it. Otherwise I'll just tag her so you can click and, and you can see Terry's videos on YouTube. And I took off the pumpkin that Mallory, she's on Ginger's Corner Facebook group. And she did these for the Halloween swap. And I put a little popsicle. How cute is that? Because it is an ice cream shop. I don't, I don't have any dragon bites. I just don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just like that. Okay. And I'll probably put this down first before I do the gems in this area. Cause I don't want to have to have put it up on foam. I don't think I want it up on foam because this is already up. It's raised quite a bit to make it go on there. Um, and that is going to be the entire page. The only thing I'm going to do different is I am going to take a little bit of mixed media. Um, I think I have a pink. I do. This is called Pinked Raspberry. And once I have it all glued down, I'll cover my photo, shake this up. You guys know I get a little crazy. Unscrew the lid and tap all the way around. I, if you've done any mixed media, then you've seen that done before. Again, not my idea. But guys, I used a ton of scraps for this. I really did. So let me go again. And I am going to um, finish this up, glue it down. Just take me a sec. And I'll come back with the two page spread and we will chitty chat some more. Hang in there. All right, you guys, I got everything glued down. I did the mixed media. I'll put close ups at the end. So this is my charger page. Here is my sister page. So um, I used banners here again. I mimicked the um, pearls right here. I did that. Then let's see, I did the other, um, this pack that Terry had made of embellishments came with another ice cream. So I put that here and both of these dragons were made by Miss Mallory. So that worked out good. Um, Puff the Magic Dragon is my title and this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys are inspired to use those border strips that, you know, we pay good money for this paper more money than we ever have, right? And I don't see it going down anytime soon. So we like to get every little bit that we can out of these collections. This is a fun, fun way. Again, normally I I love to do this monochromatic and just use all pink, all yellow, whatever. This makes a really pretty sunflower hint, hint. Um, like all yellow slash orangey and then a brown middle. Beautiful sunflower. Um, lots of fun. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. We're going to use up some more border strips and I hope you're inspired. Be blessed. Bye-bye.